I guess I'll go ahead and jump into what I've been playing real quick and I'll try to speed through it. Um, I beat Valhalla. Uh, that game does not respect your time. It is entirely way too long to the, to like the active detriment of like, I don't enjoy playing this game anymore. The gameplay is not deep enough to justify it. And they do the stupid thing and they, they did the same thing with Odyssey where, Oh, you didn't really beat the game. You need to track down all these cultists. Um, and it's like super convoluted side quest. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking care. Fuck you. I'm, so it's I'm, I'm a modern done. open world Ubisoft game. Yeah. It, <laughs> open. You mean breath of the wild light game? But um, yeah, just just done with Valhalla. You almost had me. You almost had me. You almost had me. Go on, Jose. Um, but yeah, um, my opinion of Valhalla just dropped rapidly with every single hour I put in it, specifically because of just how long it is. It it would have been better as a fifteen hour game. Plus, there's a lot of narrative dissonance with you being a fucking Viking. So. I didn't think it was going to be longer than fifteen hours. That scares me. Oh, it, it's like a hundred plus, and I didn't even Are you do serious? anything. Yeah. It, oh my it's god. Long. Um, Remember when you could play as Ezio and finish that campaign in like what, like 12, 14 hours, maybe mm-hmm. twenty? I don't know, something short. Those were those oh, were good short. times. Uh, um, let's see. I'll talk about yeah. Resident Evil two and three some other time. Um, You've been streaming I'm, those, I'm though, just, haven't you? Yeah. Um, I guess I'll go over it real quick. Uh, so Resident Evil 2 is still probably the better of the two uh, Resident Evil remakes. And I especially really, I, I know the second run in there is not to the, is not as deep as like the B scenarios from the original game where uh, items wouldn't pop up if you grabbed them in one playthrough, like there'd be different boss encounters, et cetera, et cetera. That being said, I like the way that the second run changes things up just enough, especially between characters. Um, where it kind of plays with your expectations, where mm. enemies will be where they weren't before. There's extra jump scares. Like th- there's one particular fake out that happens incredibly early on with Leon, where um, for in the original game, when you go past this very specific window, a liquor is supposed to go by. And when you play as Leon for the first time in the remake, it's not there. So you're like, oh, did they forget about this? Is it just not there? But sure enough, on the second run where you're already familiar with the game, like that's one of the first divergences that happens and, and it's totally there and it's already in that hallway. Yeah. Um, man, I have, I have a bunch of scattershot notes. Uh, Mr. X. Oh, Mr. X shows up so much earlier in the second run. Is, I and know. It and it doesn't even make it like a <laughs> cut scene. He just pops around a corner and that's so much fucking scary the first just time like, that happened i lost my shit i was uh, like oh we're going oh okay this is what we're doing and uh the second run is really interesting because it's technically shorter than the first run because they reorganize where all the key items are and in such a way that you can actually yeah. get through the entire um rcpd the raccoon city police department much faster well, yeah, because like because it's it's yeah, it's supposed to be like the second run character is like just getting there after everything has already hit the fan. Marvin's already a zombie, like you know. So, mm-hmm. like, like <laughs> there's there's some uh, not narrative distance. There's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Inconsistencies, like in terms of plot. Like obviously, Birkin, you're not going to fight him twice in his first form. It it's, it doesn't make sense, but. Yeah, it's actually faster, but you can really screw up your second run if you accidentally run into Mr. X even earlier than you're supposed to. Yep. Um, Claire has the easier playthrough all around. She has a fucking grenade launcher. I need, need I say more? It's better than a shotgun. <laughs> um, apparently in my notes, I put uh, Leon is too focused on being horny for bad girls, but not <laughs> horny for Claire. Because Leon has bad prior. Leon is just such a freaking naive, gullible little shit. He is a humble Resident Evil twink. Leave he, him alone. He is like nineteen in Resident Evil Two. Leave him alone. He's a humble but, twink. But 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 he did evolves <laughs> into like the world's biggest fucking chat in Resident Evil Four. He, he really does. Such a 180. He really does. The Virgin RPD Leon, the Chad government agent Leon. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> I, that's, gonna... that's why I'm hoping in the animated series we're gonna we're gonna see some romancing between Leon and Claire. I, there's I'm a gonna, series? I'm gonna I could coming out on Netflix, later. yeah. I, I will oh, there's multiple that. series, Dom. Okay, wait, no, this is another Kingdom Hearts thing, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, um, hold on. No, it's not. <laughs> Tell them about Survivor. <laughs> Um, I also streamed uh, Resident Evil 3. It's it's not 
it's not like the big mansion like going around solving puzzles it's definitely more of like a linear experience but it's still just a fucking good time. It's, it's like such an expertly paced narrative. It also gave I us have, Timbo of the Decade. Yes. Yes. And I have I have Timbo of uh, the Decade. I have played I have played Resident Evil three so many times. Uh, I can't dude, even don't, yeah. don't even get me started on that game. The platinum for that is takes so much grinding and I playing on Inferno. It, it is it is a Dark Souls fucking final boss. Yeah. And I, I and I beat up. it. And then I failed on the little, what's supposed to be like a quick little quick time event. I fucked that up. So I had to do the whole oh, fight. No. And yeah, it's yeah. Well, the one thing I will say about Resident Evil three is the difficulty jump to that final boss is so fucking unfair. I died so many goddamn times during that final boss. And I was on easy and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm like, ah, ah. I'm like, it's so unfair. And the game's like, here, you gotta dodge at the exact right fucking moment. And it's I, like. Uh, <laughs> so I was on nightmare mode and I got to the final boss and I had like, I think I had like a healing coin and an armor coin in my inventory. And I just like, he was, he was two shotting me the whole time. And. Uh, I had to cheat and basically buy all of the unlockable items in the game because yeah, exactly you can do what that. Because you can do that, you can buy all the unlockable items, and I'm like, uh, and then that's how I beat Nightmare Mode. <laughs> it, that's how you have to. <laughs> Y'all even got farther than me. I got up to I think the is it the second or the third Nemesis fight with um, the acid on hardcore. Uh huh. I have not been able to beat that. And I gave up. That was the last time I played Resident Evil 3. Oh, it's okay. You got farther than me. Game. I haven't even bought the game. <laughs> Please do. Please. Uh, Resident I, Evil I am really actually, the lore of Resident Evil. Evil does intrigue me. So I am considering. Oh, like, dude. Go. Yeah. Oh, even boy. if it. Just, oh, you're in for it. You need to binge. You need to binge Resident Evil because it is. The lore is. Mwah. Yeah, no, I'm just like, just looking at the surface, I am super intrigued. And I'll also, um, seeing the trailer for Village kind of, and that vampire lady. I want that wine. I want the wine. (laughs) So do I. I I don't (laughs) drink red if I get migraines, but I would drink that red. That wine is blood. Minus the blood. Minus the blood. One last note I'll do for Resident Evil 3. Jill is a fucking bat. Like the entire game, oh, she's she been, like she's she is. flung across. There's explosions. She picks oh, up a great. fucking railgun and she's, she jams I it in Nemesis's yeah. mouth and blows him up. She Jill she's is, literally Jill's robbed. Great. She's she's robbed of like the acclaim that she deserves because oh, she's yeah. put she's put into la- lackluster titles. Mm-hmm. She was not done justice in Resident Evil Five. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh I, God. I um, I think I'll go ahead and save the rest of my stuff for next time, though. 